Okay, when checking pressure switches, either we're not getting deep enough or we are. We need to find out. Without a good manometer, we're not going to be able to read that because these pressure switches react in hundreds of an inch and you can't do that with a typical YouTube style manometer. So get yourself a good digital manometer to make these checks. If I am getting deep enough beyond the pressure switch rating, then I'm going to check for my voltage. Did it, the switch indeed, did that close? If it closed, great. If it didn't, we've got a bad switch because we have deep enough in vacuum to make the switch. If I did not get deep enough of the switch, we've got to ask ourselves, why did it not? So we tee into this so we can measure Make sure that that vent hose is not plugged up. So we're going to check the connection at the firewall or where it plugs into the vent or motor assembly. Make sure that that's clean and clear, that this can actually sense what's going on inside that heat exchanger. If it's not getting deep enough and negative on 80 percent, or it may be because the motor is overheating. Why is that motor overheating? Probably because I'm, I'm overfired or I don't have the right airflow across that heat exchanger, causing the vent temperatures to go up causing the motor to overheat, the bearings wear down, and the motor slows down. On the 90%, it has to drain water. Do I have a clean P-trap? Do I have a good drain line? Am I sucking air on the back side of the venter? That would cause that to happen. So we'll get to the reasons of why is it not getting deep enough negative pressure.